Hello, IVA. Happy Friday. Okay, it's my job to give you some announcements this week. And first announcement is that Jade, I said that you could do announcements with me, but then I had to do announcements later, so I'm sorry I missed you. I'll get you next week. Okay. We are in the season of the annual family fund. That's the first thing right here, but um, we'll talk about that in a moment. This Friday opens the high school choice for eighth graders. So you want to log into your parent view and start thinking about those choices. You won't have to um, finalize those choices until Wednesday the 18th. So it is in the month of December that you're going to need to have a deadline to finalize the order of your choices. Mr. McAlley is brilliant in helping people figure things out. Also talk about it in advisory. Um, next Tuesday night is our very first choice night for fifth grade families interested in coming to IVA. So we'll have a December and a January and a February student info night all for interested families. And the first one is next Tuesday nights from 6.30 to 8. It's here at IVA. So if you have any siblings, they can come to that. Also, we have weekly tours. Um, if you know anybody interested in IVA, tell them to come on Tuesday. Application window opens. They have to apply between December and March in order to get into our lottery. Friday the 13th is our dance. It's a winter cozy pajama dance. Tickets are on sale after school today um, if it's not too rainy and they'll be uh, um, on sale also at the dance at 6 30 to 8 30 p.m. More about that next week but it's the dance and then okay so we have next week um, with the dance on Friday and the week after that is our final week before winter break and that is an entire week of cozy free dress an entire week the 16th through 20th you be cozy um, and then let's look into January really quick in January when you return from winter break the Friday of that week you return is the final day for any late assignments. So nobody really wants you to do work over break, but if you've been avoiding work or procrastinating or you know that you need to make up work or you have any missing assignments, those have to be turned in by Friday the 10th in order to count towards semester grades. The very last day of the semester, I think is the Thursday the 24th. I'm trying to clarify whether the Faculty Academy is on that Friday of January or if it's on the following Monday, I think it's on the Friday. I will I will verify that. Okay, let's go back in time a little bit. Here's my favorite picture from the Finathon. Oh, Finathon, I have announcements of prizes today. Okay, the very, very top winner is Mackenzie Matthew. Mackenzie raised $1,300. Oh, I didn't put how much Grace raised in here. I think I, pardon me, I think I have that somewhere. Grace is the second winner, and Grace raised 1,100, so very, very, very close. Um, Mackenzie decided to get so much money, 225, and Grace decided to get 175. So um, happy holidays to those two amazing winners. And then there are 62 people who are in the raffle for this $50 gift card that I am very publicly I'm going to call the name for right now and find out who it is. You'll notice I have touched every one of these 62. 62 people raised over $125, and so I'm calling a name right now. Okay. Do you see this? Can I can I show you? Aiden Costa just won 50 bucks. So I'm gonna go try to find Aiden before you go away, so you can start thinking. What do you want to put your money towards? All right, there's tons of other winners, actually. They're listed here. 19 people won different um, raffle items, and they're on the bulletin board outside room 113 if you want to check it out. Good job, everybody. You raised so much money, and for that, you got a cozy free dress week and a popsicle party. So much money. 104 of our 234 students participated. Um, and 13 of them are getting a limo lunch. Sixth grade raised the most funds for grade level. They're getting another free dress day um, and also a uh, ice cream sundae party. So like there are so many prizes to come. Uh, let me move us along. The talent show was going to be this Friday. It is postponed until Wednesday, December 18th. It's at 4.30. I think it'll be in the rec center. We are having a talent show. It will be really fun, but it's not for two more weeks. 
Um, and then the Friday we returned from break, I just wanted to like say again, it's the final late work collection day for the semester. Talk to your teachers about what that means and what you can work on. Um, recently, our teachers are preparing for the end of the semester. One of the things that they do to prepare is begin the comment writing season. And it takes a lot of work for teachers to think about every student individually and what virtue practice they see in their classroom and the way that they're thinking related to the subject. So this is us on Thursday. We had an opening circle conversation where the teacher shared an adult who made an impact on them when they were a child. And as they were sharing that, they did a stretch that everyone practiced the same stretch um, while they were sharing and it was really nice. I'm gonna try to remember to tell everybody what the questions are that our teachers process because they're such wonderful questions and our, your teachers are so amazing, you guys, um, and they care about you so much. And yesterday, one of our teachers wrote this comment. I just wanted to um, read it to you and then also tell you I went to a training last night with a well-known professor from UCLA who was saying schools these days don't um, encourage kids to question anything. They just have them follow the rules. And I think that IVA is so different. And it was revealed to me um, as this teacher shared this one comment. So here's the comment to one student. Um, I encourage you to stay curious, question the norms of society around you and ask yourself why something is the way it is, whether it could be better or more just and how you might be able to create change. And I wonder how many middle schools across the state and across the nation are asking kids to constantly question things. I think often, it's more often that um, people would say, oh, you're a middle schooler, stop questioning, follow these directions. But we think so differently here. Um, okay, Fitathon just got finished. This is crazy, but we are moving straight into the annual family fund. Every year, IVA has to raise $250 per student in order to maintain our small class size. Um, so I've sent out a MailChimp to families. We sent home um, cards for families uh, that give you a lot of options and, and donations are already coming in and we are so grateful for it. We're going to start um, having prizes at different levels of donations. We'll announce that after winter break and the prizes will be fantastic. Um, but our goal is that in the fit of 104 families participated, but our goal is to have everybody participate and give at the level that they can give. Um, if you could give $250, then have your family give $250. But if you if you can give less than that, then give less than that. And we'll have prizes at all levels. Um, we just want to have small class size. And we want to have it so that teachers and students are really connected. Speaking of, look at this little cutie. Um, I bet you guys know who this is. This is one of our students. Okay. And today... It is sort of rainy out there. We wish you a really, really wonderful, wonderful weekend. Um, and you'll have virtue ceremonies in your class. So your class can decide what is the most authentic way of appreciating and being grateful for the community that you have. I wish you all a really wonderful weekend. I would also want you to know that my um, principal necklace just broke. But I know that like you only know who I am because I'm wearing that necklace. And I'm going to try to fix it over the weekend. That's important information. Bye.